This is Eugene Panrutkovich. I'm the laptop screen doc, and the name of the website is www.screensurgeons.com. Today we have a Samsung Chromebook 303C laptop computer with a cracked screen, and I'm going to show you how to replace a cracked screen on a Samsung Chromebook 303C laptop computer. Uh, for this type of laptop computer, the battery is internal to the to the laptop so we cannot disconnect the battery before we start working on it so what you want to do is make sure that the power is off usually when you close and open the laptop it comes on and then there will be a little light on the power switch so we want the laptop to be turned off when we're working on it so what we do is we press the power switch for about three seconds the screen goes dark and then there's no lights on it anymore. That means the laptop is safe to work on. So that's the first consideration. The other consideration is that Chromebook is a generic name for netbooks that run the Chrome operating system. So you want to get the specific model number to make sure you're getting the right screen and the right procedure for it. So if you flip the laptop over, on the upper right hand corner it says 303C so that's the model number that this procedure is for okay so let's flip the laptop over again like so it's gonna come on once again we turn it off or we'll try to turn off Does, there we go it comes off I thought I would have to stop the video okay so now that the laptop is off and we know the model number we want to get to the screen assembly to replace the screen and in order to do that we have to remove the screen bezel that's the plastic frame around the screen and before we start I'll go over the tools that we'll use for this procedure we have a PH1 electronics screwdriver PH stands for Phillips and one is the size. We also have a PH00 electronics screwdriver. That's for uh, smaller screws. And a two millimeter flathead screwdriver. We may or may not use it. And that's to pry things open. We have a pair of metal tweezers. That's to manipulate any cables we may encounter and to remove any screws we may be stuck and an exacto knife or a hobby knife and that's to lift up any adhesive tape we may encounter okay so let's get started for this laptop there's no screws that are holding the screen bezel in usually there's screws that are holding the screen bezel in but for this one there's not so we can just snap off the screen bezel and what i like to do for this case is put my fingertips or fingernails on the screen side Gently lift up the plastic and pull a little bit out towards you and listen for snapping sounds. That means the screen bezel is snapping off. And in this manner, we go around the whole screen assembly, like so. And while you're doing this, make sure that the laptop doesn't come on accidentally. If it does, uh, turn it off immediately so as not to cause any damage. Okay, so on the bottom there's a little bit of adhesive, but it's not too bad. So we go all the way around and snap off the screen bezel. The screen bezel comes off. Once we do that, the screen assembly is exposed to us. And uh, for this type of screen, it's a slim screen for this type of laptop, it's mounted by some screws on some metal tabs on the side of the screen. There's four screws that we have to remove. There's two at the top and two at the bottom. So in this case, we're going to use our PH00 screwdriver, the smaller Phillips screwdriver, to remove these screws because they're a little bit smaller. And we put them in their own pile. And I start on the wrong one, so I've got to start on the right screwdriver. Screw two. And when you're doing this, make sure that the screen assembly is tilted back a little bit, 
so that it doesn't fall forward on you when you remove the last screw. Three. And four. Okay. Once we do that, we gently start tilting the screen forward. Make sure it's not getting caught on anything. And we put it down like this. The next step is to look at the connector. There's one connector at the bottom and we need to remove this connector. So there's a little bit of a trick to this type of connector. First we use our hobby knife or exacto knife to lift up there. There's a metal clip that lifts up. You tilt it forward. You have to do that before you remove the connector. And then the next thing you do is gently slide the connector backward and the screen is removed. So let's go over this procedure when we're putting the new screen back in. We gently slide in the connector. Like so. You'll feel but not hear two clicks. And then you, we put the little clip down to secure the connector. So let's get a close-up of it. Okay, pause the video right there. The connection should look like this. There should not be a gap in the seam between the two sides of the connection and the clip should be engaged. So that's a good connection. Okay, we once again use our X-Acto knife to lift up the clip. And we pull the connector out again. And let's take a look at this screen. This, this screen, it's a 11.6 inch LED slim screen. But there's a couple of things that we need to notice from it. For this particular model, this screen is matte. It doesn't have a glossy finish. It has a frosted finish. This is a bit unusual. So when you order your replacement screen, unless you specifically say matte, you will get a glossy screen because glossy is more common. It's uh, not going to affect the performance of the laptop. Mostly it's a personal preference. So that's one thing to consider. And the other thing to consider is the mounting tab tabs. For this size screen, it comes in two configurations. There's mounting tabs on the sides, like in this one. And some laptops use mounting tabs on top and bottom. So make sure you have a photo of the screen where you see the mounting tabs are on the side. OK, so next, let's take a look at the model number. The model number that you're looking for is B. 116XW03V1. B116XW03V1. That's the model you're looking for. Okay, you can also order this screen from us, from Screen Surgeons. And what we offer is a compatibility guarantee. So if we send you the wrong screen, we'll make it right and send you the right one to replace it. We also have a two year warranty on the screen. So if anything goes wrong with the screen during two years, we'll replace it for free. We have free email technical support. So if you have any troubles during the procedure, send us an email. We'll walk you through. And this exact same toolkit that you see here, it comes for free with this screen. We'll send you this toolkit for free with this screen so you don't have to do anything else for the procedure. And finally, uh, we can ship in the United States or we can ship to most countries around the world. So uh, just go through the standard checkout procedure and specify your country. To order this screen from us, uh, go to www.screensurgeons.com. There will be a short form for you to fill out, which will guide you to buy the right screen online and then just go through the checkout pr procedure. Once you do get this screen in, connected as I showed you, mounted back in the screen assembly, put the two screws in at the top and the two screws in at the bottom, snap the screen bezel back on, and you're done, and that should be it. Okay, uh, that's it. Once again, my name is Eugene Panrutkovich. I'm the Laptop Screen Doc, and the name of the website is www.screensurgeons.com. Thank you very much, and good luck.